Hi, I'm back with a new episode. This time it's linear layout in Android. Previously, we saw how we create a splash screen in an Android application. Today, we'll try to see how we can create a linear layout, which will let you uh, lay out uh, different controls either in a horizontal or in a vertical orientation. So let me start creating with the activity which will be launched from the previous uh, splash screen. So once I finish it, it creates a activity with the layout, which will be relative layout by default. So if, we, if I have to visualize the orientation for this linear layout, then it is horizontal vertical with these two elements. And then I can also visualize the lower portion as three horizontal orientation stacked together. So that is the screen which we are trying to create now. So I change the relative layout to linear layout, set the orientation to vertical, remove all the padding which is not required at this point. And then I add the green which is my default background which is a branding color. Now within the content section I don't need uh, the different uh, templates or uh, the, the controls which are available by default I remove all and then just lay out the controls which is required so I start off with uh, creating an image view which will be like the top uh, logo section it can be match parent because it can take up the whole space and wrap content so that uh, even if I apply, uh, let's say, a gravity of center, it will fit in perfectly. So there I have the logo added at the top. I set a margin if required. Maybe we can. Uh, try see what happens at a later point maybe i'll again modify the control so that uh, it is as per the design so that's my design so let's start with doing the horizontal layouts which will include the uh, left and the right uh, parent and uh, the driver sections, which are two buttons. So I have the orientation set to horizontal. That means each control that you are adding within this linear layout will stack in a horizontal format. So let me just keep it as wrap content, which means that uh, whatever control that I'm adding the linear layout will wrap around it instead of taking up the whole uh, parent space. So I add the left image button, I reference the uh, the slice. Uh, these are uh, slices taken out from Photoshop. So if you are not aware of how to take slices out, then uh, maybe we can handle it in a different tutorial. Let's create a linear layout uh, which we can use to include the topmost logo image view within so that uh, we can apply a weight to each of the linear layouts which is contained within the topmost linear layout. So the purpose I'll explain in a, in a bit. So have the image view within the linear layout. I will set a weight of 1 to the top section and again a weight of 1 to the bottom section. This means the top and the bottom sections will be equally divided for uh, the, uh, the logo as well as the bottom controls. So advantage being 
I can use the image view to be centered to that linear layout uh, which we just laid out, uh, laid out uh, for the top section. So let me add the second image con image uh, button. Content uh, length and height being wrap content. That means it it will wrap the whole content, uh, which is the image in this case. If I keep it as match parent, then in that case it will take up the whole space which is uh, available, which is a linear layout being the parent to it. The same thing I can do for uh, both the top and uh, the left and the right images, image buttons. So the purpose of setting the background <coughs> as orange will uh, make sure that uh, even if there is an overflow out of the image button, the images, uh, even then it will take up the whole space with that same orange color so that uh, it does not uh, have any impact on multiple other uh, resolutions. So again, I am setting a layout weight to 1-1 one, one to the left and the right uh, image buttons just to make sure that they are equally divided. So this, this will help us in uh, visualizing better uh, in different other res resolutions. So we are almost there uh, <coughs> with the design. Only thing that we need to try do right now is to scale the images so if i set it to fit center that means it will take up the whole space of the linear layout and fit it around that uh, control so i'm making sure that the whole of the bottom section is uh, orange and if you visualize it in different other device let's say an XS5 or a 4 you can see that it is fitting perfectly within different resolutions and there is a slight difference from the design in the way the topmost uh, logo is being placed it is not centralized to the linear layout on which it is being laid out so let's try that modification this gravity setting just to make sure that uh, the left and the right one the buttons are aligned towards right and left of the control. So setting the wrap content width and the height of match parent center horizontal and the linear layout having a layout weight of 1 will make sure that the topmost uh, logo is center aligned to the linear layout. Also a minor modification in terms of the color schemes which needs to be laid out is that the whole of the linear layout, the outer linear layout is uh, white in my design. So I'm just making that modification. So let's run the 
app and see what what has really happened so if you if you have seen the previous tutorial on splash screen then you you know how to run a new activity using intents intents are uh, the message carriers so i'm ready to run the application and let's see the output currently it builds and that's my screencast of the device so you see the design perfectly being implemented here that's it thank you for watching please subscribe if you like the video or if you want to give a feedback regarding the tutorial then please feel free to provide your comment if you need any improvement then please suggest that in the comment section Hope to see you again in the next tutorial.